Good morning. Let us study today application of perturbation theory to helium atom. How we are studying in the previous class the perturbation theorem or perturbation method, perturbation theory. Now, let us consider helium atom. The electronic configuration is 1s2 because the atomic number is equal to 2. There are 2 electrons. It is uh, like hydrogen atom. Okay. So, the Schrodinger wave equation or the eigenvalue equation for helium atom is uh, h cap psi equal to mean psi. Where h cap is the operator obtained for hydrogen for helium atom. It, I have shown already here how to construct the Hamiltonian operator for polyelectron atoms. It consists of uh, for the Hamiltonian operator for electron 1, Hamiltonian operator for electron 2, they are similar to hydrogen atom, hydrogen atom 2, hydrogen atom. Okay, and plus the perturbation term, the inter-electronic repulsion term. This is the inter-electronic, there will be, there is an inter-electronic repulsion. The term is called 1 by R12. This is called the perturbation term. So the Hamiltonian is split into two parts. This Hamiltonian is split into two parts. H cap naught, the first term and the second term corresponds to uh, correspond to H cap naught. The third term is equal to unperturbation term. Perturbation term. In this case, uh, lambda equal to one. We have already studied. Please watch the previous video. If lambda equal to one, the perturbation is fully applied. If lambda equal to 0, there is no perturbation. There is no perturbation. Let us now write the wave function. Now we have written the Hamiltonian operator. Okay. Similarly, the, the perturbation term is always smaller than the unperturbed term. Okay. The, we have seen the Hamiltonian operator. Let us now see the wave function. The wave function of helium atom is constructed from hydrogen like atom, wave function. So, it is, uh, as I said, it is similar to two hydrogen atoms. Therefore, there are two electrons, therefore, one is one, one is one, hydrogen one is one. For helium atom, the wave function is the product of two hydrogen like atom wave function. For example, one is the wave function of one is orbital. The wave function of one is orbital, we have studied here, here. Uh, please see hydrogen atom. We have seen uh, given that the wave function of 1s orbital is equal to z cube divided by pi 1 by 2 e power minus z r1. Okay, for electron 1, for electron 2 is in z r2. In terms of atomic weights, this is the wave function in terms of atomic weights. Okay, now therefore 2 times multiply, therefore z cube by pi. And e, e power minus z r1 into e, therefore minus means uh, multiplication, it will be addition in the power r1 plus r2 in terms of atomic units. Okay. Now let us calculate the unperturbed energy. What is unperturbed energy? H cap naught. H cap naught is the unperturbed energy, then perturbed energy. First, the unperturbed energy of helium atom is equal to sum of energy, ground state energies of two hydrogen like atoms. See, this is hydrogen atom, this is uh, like hydrogen atom. Therefore, the unperturbed energy of helium atom is equal to sum of ground state energies of two hydrogen like atoms. Now, let us calculate the pertur perturbation energy. What is uh, perturbation energy? This is the perturbation energy. How this is calculated, we will see. First order correction to ground state energy, the perturbation energy is obtained by using average value theorem or expectation value. We have studied in the past days. So, uh, the perturbation energy, first order perturbation energy is equal to this. And there are two electrons. There are two electrons, therefore, it is a double integral. This is in terms of bracket notation. This is in terms of integral notation. Okay, since there are two electrons, the integral is a double integral is taken because of that. Okay, therefore, uh, let us substitute this uh, wave function here. Z cube by pi whole square. Therefore, e power two 
because uh, two times e power minus two is that r one plus r two d tau one d tau two d tau one is the volume element d tau one is the volume element for electron one and d tau two is the volume element for electron two that is the volume element for three dimensional box equal to for three dimensional system equal to dx dy d is that in terms of cardinal Cartesian coordinates and in terms of the volume element in terms of spherical polar coordinates d tau one equal to this d r one square d r one sin theta one d theta one d t one and this is the dx dy d is that let us on evaluating the integral the integral is this is now integral this integral is evaluated mathematically it involves many steps complex uh, many steps the evaluation of integral is very tedious but the results the results are very important for us on evaluating the integral the perturbation energy this is called the perturbation energy is obtained by the gain is it so the total energy of helium atom is the unperturbed energy and the first order perturbation energy therefore minus z square this is the uh, and this is the energy of uh, ground state hydrogen atom we have already studied this is the energy of ground state hydrogen atom there are two hydrogen atoms therefore minus z square plus the perturbation energy pi by a z in terms of atomic units now what is uh, atomic unit one atomic unit is equal to one hartree one hartree is equal to 27.2 electron volt now what is one hartree one hartree is a unit of energy in atomic units in atomic units this hartree this energy hartree energy is used in quantum mechanics computational chemistry and molecular orbital calculations etc okay now it is also 1 by 2 atomic energy is equal to ionization potential of hydrogen what is the value of ionization potential of hydrogen 13.6 therefore one not to equal to two times two times the ionization potential of hydrogen atom now the theoretical the theoretical energy so let us substitute z2 z value is equal to 2 in this expression we will get the theoretical energy Including unperturbed energy and perturbation energy minus of this two pi times pi atomic unit, one atomic unit. Let us substitute one atomic unit equal to twenty seven point two electron volt here. Therefore, the theoretical energy for helium using perturbation theory is equal to minus twenty four point eight electron volt. The experimental ground state helium energy. This is also the theoretical ground state energy for helium atom. This is the Experimental helium atom ground state energy is obtained from spectroscopy, photoelectron spectroscopy, uh, etc. Equal to minus seventy eight point nine nine six electron volt. Now you see there is a huge difference. There is a difference between the theoretical. There is a disagreement between. There is no agreement between um, theoretical and the experimental because if We have considered only the first order correction. This is the energy calculated. This is the first order correction. If second order and third order corrections are included, there is there is an improvement. There is an improvement, but the improvement is still not good. Therefore, the variation theory is used. The variation theory is uh, which we will see now. The variation theory there is good agreement. in the case of variation method okay so thank you for watching